Hey, this is the fourth video about uh, a book I've recently published called The Sun Will Grow Dark, The Moon Turned to Blood, and this one's about the rapture. So there's a lot of talk about the rapture uh, these days, and uh, there's a lot of dissing of the rapture out there. You'll find a lot of stuff if you search on YouTube, search on TikTok, uh, you search on uh, the web in general, you'll find a lot of people dissing the rapture. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about my chapter on the rapture. So here's my chapter three, we will be caught up in the air. That's from 1 Thessalonians 4. Um, let, me, let me give kind of two clarifications about uh, the so-called rapture. First of all, the, the New Testament knows nothing of kind of two visits, two, two end time visits of Jesus. So there's no, nothing in the New Testament that says he comes and then he comes again. Now, of course, he came, when we talk about the second coming, we're talking about one second coming. We're not talking about a second coming and a third coming, so to speak. The, the normal way of talking about the rapture really envisages there being a third coming where Jesus comes and he takes us all away, and then Jesus comes and there's the judgment. The New Testament knows nothing of anything like that. It's Jesus comes and there's the judgment, and there's one second coming. Um, and this chapter goes into some of the, the details with that. Now, that might support uh, what's called a, uh, a, a, a post-trib rapture. Um, we'll talk about... Uh, the uh, tribulation in the next video. So the, the next video, maybe on Friday, I'll talk a little bit about what our, what the book has to say about the, the seven-year tribulation. But in terms of um, rapture, there is no, he comes, he goes, he comes again. It's he comes and it's it's the end times. The second thing about the rapture is when he comes, he stays. So typical rapture thinking is he comes, he takes us, and we go away to heaven, and we stay in heaven forever. But that really isn't biblical. It's really he comes, and he sets his kingdom on earth. Uh, it's interesting that of, of all the things that a certain way of thinking takes the book of Revelation literally, they don't take Revelation literally about the new Jerusalem coming down to a new earth. But that is actually what the New Testament primarily teaches. Now, we can debate about what John is about when it says, if I go out, prepare a place for you that you may come. I mean, that's okay. That's a video on John. But in terms of, of, of the end time final frontier of scripture, it is a kingdom of God on earth. Abraham and Isaac, the people will come from north and south and east and est and west to dine with Abraham in the kingdom of God, it says in Matthew and, and Luke. So one, it's not a come and come again. Uh, two, it's a come and stay, not a come and go away. We talk a little bit in the chapter about this idea that you'll hear in many circles of a king is coming to town, you go out to meet the king, and then you go into the town together. Um, and so the rapture being a kind of being caught up to meet and then uh, come back down. Um, I do think that it is a meeting in the air. There are some who uh, who say, no, 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 it's not a, he's not coming on the clouds as, as, if, as if, what's wrong with him coming on the clouds? Um, you know, well, I don't know. He's coming from a different dimension. Anyway, I talk a little bit about that in uh, in the chapter if you're interested. I only have one more thing I want to talk about, and that is the snatched. Uh, one will be taken and the other left behind. Uh, very interesting. Hold on that thought. Here's an example of those verses in Matthew 24 here. Two will be in the field, one taken and one is left. Very interesting. It's... we we. We don't, we don't see the Bible as it actually is. We see the Bible through the glasses we're wearing. And this is a great example because the, the ones that are taken in context here are those who are outside the ark in the flood. And so they're being taken to judgment. In fact, in the version in Luke 17 here, um, they're taken, where are they taken? They're taken to where the vultures gather around dead bodies. The ones who are taken in context are not the saved. The ones who are taken in context are actually the damned. Oh, wow. That didn't see that coming. Well, this is chapter uh, three in my new book. Let me get the chapter here. There it is. This is a video about uh, just a, a glimpse of what's in chapter three of my new book. The sun will grow dark and the moon turn to blood. Available on my Shopify channel in both uh, uh ebook and print form also available on Amazon in both ebook and print form. Get it if you want to learn more about some of these things that you like. I thought I understood that, but actually it I don't think it means what you think it means.